and the government has attributed the collapse of scaffolding ladders at a building under construction in Pangani that killed four people to poor maintenance. Well, Public Works Principal Secretary Joel Arumonyang in a statement said scaffolding made of old wooden planks had become weak. He says inspection will be done and that those found culpable will be punished. Ben Kirui reports. <laughs> It was a ticking time bomb as the construction works progressed at this building along Mukunga Street in Pangani, area of Nairobi. <laughs> Saturday afternoon incident happening while workers on the 17th floor project were plastering the external walls of the 15th, 16th and 17th floors. A statement by the government through the State Department of Public Works blaming the tragic incident on poorly maintained scaffolding made of old wooden planks was sent by weather situation the structure had thus become weak and could no longer support the weight of the workers, equipment and materials. The scaffold collapsed from the 10th floor all the way down and fell onto the adjacent property, taking down the workers. The statement signed by Public Works PS Joel Arumonyang said the construction workers on site lacked personal protective equipment, especially helmets and safety harnesses. Currently, the construction of this building has been halted following the tragic incident that occurred on Saturday, leaving four people dead and injuring several others. Those injured are receiving treatment at the Kenyatta National Hospital and Pangani Hospital. <laughs> Residents in the area have decried the state of construction in areas of Pangani and Isli, where they say developers are not adhering to safety standards, posing danger to construction workers and tenants of adjacent buildings. Sisi tunafanya hii mjengo, ni hii mjengo kila nyumba, kila site inaua watu. Mimi najua material yenye najengwa, how the fire yenye naletua nyumba inajengwa kwa mwaka, nyumba kama hii inaanzia first full of 16. Kwa mwezi na jengwa fulo mbili mbili. Karibu juzi watoto agonge hapa hiyo mawe meanguka kwa hao. Sasa nani ya na, na nini ya tutusaidia sisi kama watoto akakufa. The government has warned that those found responsible for the incident will face consequences after a multi-agency assessment is done. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.